All right, welcome back, uh, Rutimi Akindele. His standing is right here in the studio of Beat FM. Of, of course, okay. What well, question I'm going to ask him first against Togo? I mean, 20 players in camp. Uh, are you expecting something different from what they did against Corsica? Good morning. Good morning. Good to be here. Um, yeah, maybe an improvement to what we saw against Corsica. Okay. Uh, because they in the one all draw. If you look at it based on the results, you probably feel. 50-50, it was your first game together yeah. as a team. Now there's been a bit of, um, I mean, I expect that there should have been a bit of chemistry and improvement, you know, um, since that game or since they've been in camp. Uh, that's towards the last week of May. So going into this to go um, clash, should, we should hear an improved performance, really, mm -hmm. from all the players. I heard them um, telling you, say, 20 players are already in camp. Let us see the 20 players in action. Mm -hmm. Buying any, yeah, yeah, all of them. It's a friendly game. So friendly, yeah. if you have your starting 11, the remaining nine can actually come on in the second half. You know, just Let's assess get everybody. Time, five, five, ten, ten minutes, ten and minutes. I think Togo will be Togo will give us a good fight as well. They are also preparing for the Afghan qualifier, so we should expect a more uh, stiff opposition. That one we had against Corsica. Mm, Corsica. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, yes, still on the Super Eagles uh, players. Uh, we talked about the uh, Oyeku uh, lad. This guy uh, just in 2015 uh, was playing uh, for the Aspire Academy, Academy yeah. in Senegal. And 2017, it looks like he's on his way to London to sign for us now. What a rise, uh, similar to what what um, Indidi, you know, going from Indidi that and as well. And all those guys. Uh, so I mean, first of all, would that be the right move? You know, at this young stage of his career, going to Arsenal, Arsenal right now, Arsenal Wenger is under a lot of pressure to win trophies, the big trophies. And would you think, you know, um, a young guy like uh, Oyekuru going there might, I don't know, I mean, what do you think? Is it the right move for him? Uh, well, uh, if, if you look at Arsenal's structure, it's built for young lads, built for an essence talent. Okay. So which, it, would, it would be a good ground for Oyekuru to actually you know, learn under a manager like Arsene Wenger. Okay. My, my worry is I hope he doesn't get to be loaned out. Because that's, an, I mean, we've seen a lot of young players go to Arsenal. Okay. And then they are Arsenal players, but then they get to go play in the Dutch league or German league and all oh, that. And some go to Greece like... If he, if he brings the form from Belgium, you know, into the English Premier League, Let's, let's assume the deal is done. Okay. Uh, he should be able to get a look in. Yeah, about 19. I mean, the story we're hearing is that uh, the agent is saying, of course, he's also saying that any club he wants to sign for, there's going to be also a kind of a clause in it that he gets to play. Come he on. will not sit nah, on the bench. That's, that's not a chance. You don't do, no we've, one does, we've, we've you seen, don't do that these days. We've, 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 seen, no we've seen, I mean, we've seen uh, play, big players. I mean, uh, Mbappe, okay, fine. He was homegrown talent mm. and all that. Yeah. We're playing for Monaco. How old is he? I mean, we, we, we've, seen some that, yeah, but, yeah, but we, we've seen some of the top players who've come to England and were able to, like, somehow make break it in. through, break in. Yeah, but then if he feels he's not going to get a look in with Arsenal, I mean, is. West Ham is there, West Brom also, Southam thing, Everton and all that. Just, just and so even, you can even go to Anderlecht. I mean, they, they there's several options for options him. That's the good him. thing for so him. So if you feel uh, Arsenal is a big club, fine. But if you're not going to play, why be loaned out? I mean, he scored 20 goals. Come on. Over 20 goals, actually. Uh, but, I mean, For the, the league, points, I'm talking about the league yeah, now. Yeah, in all conditions. Are, yeah. So, in all conditions, scored a lot, over 20 goals. And, but the, the point you made about having a clause um, guaranteeing you a sport, and, uh, that doesn't, it doesn't work that He's way. He's coming into England <laughs> as a big player in court now, you know, from the, from the Belgian league, mm. based yeah. on his antecedents. Yeah, so I think big player, but should have money, six point eight million. I mean, six point eight million is 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 small. Yeah, yeah, it's it's but how many people knew of Henry Yekuru? Let him come to Arsenal. Let him develop himself the more, get to play, and then who knows? Maybe in the next two three years, uh, we're talking of a big money move. But I think it's a fair, fair move if if he actually. Um, such as with Arsenal. Mm. Okay. So, so right. the, the story is um, uh, they have a trigger that release clause and he just needs to um, agree personal terms, terms. Uh, and medical as well to where uh, Henry right now looks um, fit is where the Super Eagles and it looks like um, the rest is just a formality. Okay. So yeah, that's it for uh, on your crew. Let's move on now and talk about the UEFA Champions League. Um, we almost uh, get into Saturday. <laughs> it's just around the corner and um, there's this I don't really want to call it a debate. Um, Real Madrid versus um, uh, Juventus. Um, Gareth Bale and Isco. It looks like uh, it's a straight up um, you know, choice between those two for the final. Uh, Bale has been injured. It's been out for a while. Um, Isco has come in. It's done very well. Mm -hmm. And 
it's for Zidane now to decide uh, on who actually starts.